pleasant good morning to you. Uh, may God continue to bless you throughout today. Uh, listen, did you take the vaccine? I'm asking the question, did you take the vaccine? But even though I'm asking the question, I don't want an answer from you. Listen to this. The amount of individuals who keep asking me if they should take the COVID-19 vaccine, right? I, I don't understand. Because when the babies had to take different other types of vaccines, they didn't ask me. So why are you asking me now? Ask the medical people. They are the ones who should give you that advice. Uh, listen, amidst the chatter and the multitude of conspiracy theory, my head just zinging. Listen, uh, so I decided to take a close look at myself in the mirror. Uh, because as a pastor, I have to be careful what I say. Well, other individuals, they have the freedom to say anything. I don't have that freedom. No, I do not have that freedom to say whatever I feel like saying. So listen to me. When somebody asks me if I took the vaccine and I told them yes, they look at me as if I ate pork for the first time and if I drink rum and block some drain. I don't understand that. Uh, listen, I'm a Seventh-day Adventist pastor, and in the Seventh-day Adventist church, we do not stop people from taking the vaccine. Uh, individuals have the freedom of choice to make a decision to take this vaccine or to take any other vaccine. We do not dictate that for individuals. Uh, hear this now. Uh, we must pause and look at something. Uh, one, we must pause and ask ourselves, is COVID-19, that disease, is it taking more lives than the vaccine? That's one. Number two, uh, please understand that the vaccine is actually, I'm using layman term, not a medical person. Uh, the vaccine is actually taking a little bit of the virus, putting it into your body so that your body can understand how to fight when the real thing comes around. Uh, Father, listen to this now. As Christians, our duty is to try to live a safe life. And safety says take all precautions and the protocol. And the medical people have advised me that one such precaution is to take the vaccine. So if you want my advice, you ask for it, so giving it. If you want my advice, to me, judging from what the medical people have said, the safer thing to do is to take the vaccine. Uh, now, uh, here is now. There's a text I want to share before I share a poem. Listen to what the text says. Uh, in Genesis uh, chapter 4, right? It says, And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? Well, here it is now. As a pastor, I sense that I am my brother's and sister's keeper. So, to be on the safe side, listen, follow the protocols, wear your mask, etc., social distancing, and exercise your freedom of choice. But I'm going to encourage you to take the vaccine. Well, you never ask me if you should take the yellow fever and those others, but you're asking me about this one. So, that's my take on it. Uh, listen. Uh, they talk about the vaccine. They talk about the vaccine is ridiculous. They give their opinion and you don't know who to trust. Uh, some take it up like a political fanfare. Others follow it uh, with a religious flair. They're asking me daily, would you take it? Well, I took so many already. So COVID vaccine, I will accept it. My body is filled with so many vaccines before. So when COVID came knocking at my door, I spoke to myself and asked, do you want to live or do you want to risk dying and leave your wife to grieve? My answer came back, definitely clear. Charles, 
take it, live safer. The world needs you there. I pulled up my sleeves and took both jabs. This old man don't want to lie dead on a mortuary cold slab. I want to grow old with my wife and four grandchildren. I want to preach more and sinners win them. I want to do some more counseling and help people marriage. I want to catch more fish, eat bakes and corn porridge. I want to create more poems and sing more songs. I want to travel the world and stop some vicious wrongs. If I live a risky life and reject the COVID job, I will end up as another statistic in the lab. You asking me for advice, I have one to give. Take this seriously. Uh, COVID is not a fib. Be safe and wear your mask and sanitize your hands. Observe the social distance and teach this to your grands. Uh, the distance, uh, the disease is bad, a pandemic in our world. Relatives are, are dying, even some pretty girls. The vaccine puts a weak form of the virus in you uh, so your immune system can fight uh, when the real COVID comes through. I am telling you now, take care of yourself, stay alive. Uh, you can enjoy your accumulated uh, wealth. Listen to the right voice. Some hiding, but they already took it. Study your head, uh, protect yourself, or you can end up sick. This world is still a nice place for us humans. Stay safe, my brother, as you inhabit the land. May God bless you as you make your choice, but stay on the safe side. Our God and Father, even amidst the pandemic, help us to make safe decisions and help to protect us on a daily basis. Uh, guide us, for we know that diseases came upon the world because of sin, and our only hope is as we depend upon you. But as we depend upon you, O oh God, help us not to be presumptuous, but to do the safer thing. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen and amen. May God richly bless you as you go through the day. Say